Yes, there's lots of setting up happening right now at Kings Fork High School, despite the light rain that's happening. I'll step out of the way and you can see we have the sheriff's office, some army representatives, the VFW. They are setting up, inviting the community out. It starts at 530 and they have lots of tents happening. So despite this rain, they're hoping a lot of visitors will come out again. This is for National Night Out. Now, earlier today we were in Portsmouth. We talked to the family of Jamel Howell. He was a man who was killed two years ago on National Night Out. His family invited us to come along to the place where he was killed a couple years ago, and they said he was a big believer in the message behind National Night Out, which is getting law enforcement together with the community to make the city a safer place. It's the first time we've been out here since the night of his journey. Two years ago, Jamel Howell was shot at his apartment. His mother says his stepson is accused of his death and that he is out on bond and due in court next month. And he had his son on the swing over there pushing him. That was the last live that we've seen of him. Howell's family says earlier in the night he had participated in the National Night Out festivities. To know that it, National Night Out was on the night that he died, shocking, because it's supposed to be about safety. For his daughter, coming back here brings a rush of memories. He used to live here, to work on cars out here, he used to play with me on this park over here. In January, we met with Howell's daughter and mother and talked about how this tragedy encouraged them to start a group called Kids Against Gun Violence. His mother says the death of her son is still unreal. He was my baby. He was my best friend. He was the one that called me and said, Mama. Can't nobody say Mama the way he did. Well, I'm waiting to get out of this dream with somebody. I'm hoping he waking me up saying, Mom. Howell's message two years ago on this night. Trust the policemen. Trust the police. They're good people. And on this national night out, law enforcement officers hope to gather the support of the community to help make the city safer. We are just hoping to get out and see everybody and let, let them see us on not just on their bad days, but on their good days. And out here live in Suffolk, this event at Kings Fork High School starts at 530. Many cities across Hampton Roads are participating. Most events start at 5 or 530, so about an hour. You have plenty of time to get out, and there is just a light rain out here. For a list of some of those events, you can go to our website, WTKR.com. And if you can't make it out tonight, Portsmouth police tell me a great way to make a difference, get involved in your community, is to join the Citizens Police Academy or your Civic League. Reporting live in Suffolk, I'm Angela Bohan, News 3.